Man, at first sight, season 16, who died? Who died and left Miss Mouth Almighty as the spokesperson? Why is it that every season of Married at First Sight, they always have somebody as the first spokesperson that I don't like? Why does it have to be Nicole? Why it couldn't be Kristen? Because I like Kristen. Why it had to be Miss Mouth Almighty over here? Acting as if she's a counselor. And let me tell you about Shaq, honey. I got my little purse this morning. Because Shaq, girl, I can't. See, this is why I can't marry no feminine man. This is why I can't marry no man like Shaq that don't know themselves and is not masculine and who's not confident in his own right, girl. I just cannot with Shaq. Girl, he's so feminine. I just cannot. I, I can't. I am so over married at first sight and then bringing on these men. They need to bring better black men on for these black women because God know Kristen deserves better. I think Kristen should get her another chance. <laughs> on married at first sight. I love you. I want to thank you for your love and support. Thank you for those of you who have joined us recently. Thank you. Thank you. We're growing, growing. Thank you for those of you who have checked out my shorts. My shorts are doing very, very, very well. So be sure to check out my shorts video. I want to thank you again. Did you guys go over to Amazon and leave me a glowing five-star review on my number one best-selling book? 23 types of guys you might meet, girl. If you don't have this book, get it, girl. It will keep you from marrying men like Shaq. Uh, so be sure to pick that up and leave a glowing five-star review. So we're continuing our review of Married at First Sight. And I talked yesterday about that good-looking, fine, red. Well, he ain't fine. The good-looking, adopted, bishop. Prophet Apostle Devon Franklin. Girl, he was so looking so good, girl. He done divorced Megan. All of a sudden, his skin looks better. He looks a shade lighter. He regrew his headline. I saw that comment in this match. Regrew Ella. He looking good, girl. He talking to somebody. One of them girls down at the church is feeding him. And Prophet said, Devon, we want you to go ahead and marry her. Because apparently she is good for you, okay? The Bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Whoever that girl is that's feeding you, taking care of you, Dr. Foss, the Bob, you go ahead and marry you. I'm glad you left this other heathen one over here. But anyway, that's not what we have. So the good reverend, good looking reverend met with Kristen and Shaq. And the good reverend asked her, do you think she's Shaq is masculine? And here goes Shaq. And Kristen's like, uh, 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 yes, yeah, lies, girl. Lies, you didn't want to hurt his little feminine feeling. You didn't want to hurt Shaq's feminine feeling. Shaq ain't no masculine. Ask me if my husband is masculine. Yes. Ask me if my husband is a provider. Yes. Ask me if my husband is protecting. Yes. Ask me if my husband uh, professed. Yes. See, this is how you know the people be lying. Ask them what they, if their husbands is that. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, girl. And then Shaq, he did. Who don't told Shaq he's, he's a masculine man? Shaq, please stop it. Please, I don't know what you need to do, but you need to go ahead and, and spend a year hanging around them brothers so they can get that femininity out of you. Because you are too feminine to be a man. Talk about you're ready to be a husband. You don't need to be nobody's husband, okay? So then, girl, we get over to the, the group they're meeting up. You know, it's just a few more days before the final say. And everybody's just talking and sharing and Clint. I really like Clint. I told y'all from the beginning. I like Clint. I told y'all. I said, that Clint, I like him. I like Clint is a solid man. But see, Clint is 40 years old. So, you know, at four, by the time they get 40, 
they're usually really, really solid dudes, okay? And Clint is sharing about himself and his friend and so on and so forth. So here comes Feminine Shack talking about, you know, that used to be me, but people are talking, I'm like, I used to be that place, and that's why he needed to go to therapy. So I do appreciate uh shack that you went to therapy i hope your therapist was an older black man maybe he can help to get some of that femininity out of you but anyways he's talking to him and and you know he's sharing and it's being a real sense of moment and i appreciate him sharing right so then then he's finished sharing and everybody takes a drink and here come miss mouth almighty talking about well this is a safe space we're here for you and i'm sure kristen is gonna be supportive and i'm speaking for her if i was kristen i would have said that's your problem that's your problem did i ask you to speak for me did i ask you to speak for me miss mouth almighty i did not ask you to speak for me you could only speak for you and yourself so anyways feminine shot girl feminine shot girl grab his purse and ran out he just ran out like <laughs> ah! <laughs> and he outside holding his purse <laughs> and kristen i know kristen said i know kristen said what is it now okay but they cut it off i know that's what she said because that's what i would be saying but i would have been left him there's no way i could be talking about it like that so here goes sister christian what is it now that's what her face is saying right and he's talking about i, I don't feel like it was okay that i shared and i was sharing and another wife had to speak for you and, and Chris was like, I didn't even get a minute to say nothing. And, and she's like, well, you know, I was rubbing your back and rubbing your leg. And, and he was like, and, 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 and you, you don't say nothing. I was being soft and I was being feminine. And, and, and you didn't say that. Girl, let me tell you, when I said Kristen is the MVP of this season, girl, Kristen, she good, girl. She good. <clears throat> she good. She good because I, I would have already cussed this one out. Girl, I would have already. Oh, Lord. I know Chris is like counting down the days. And see, for me, that's why I can't marry no man like that. I can't. I, uh, 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 see, I would have already cussed him out. Do you understand what I mean? And you know we're not supposed to be cussing the husbands out. But a man like Sha, that's why I can't be with nobody like that. Okay? I, 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 I can't because that neglect will let you come out of your good place okay and tell him off because he's he's acting like a little girl carrying on i know kristen is tired and carrying on so he's like oh you didn't come you didn't come and you you say you was gonna come i booked the hotel and all and you didn't come you say you had something else to do and she's like oh my god i'm just so sick of this feminine man i just cannot anymore i just cannot oh jesus deliver me from this so anyways kristen uh went and saying you know kind of puff up his little feminine feelings so they go back in there and they're talking about <clears throat> you know they're sharing about uh how kristen said she wants him to be more assertive and be more aggressive anytime you tell as a woman you tell a man you need it to be more served. That means he's feminine. He ain't masculine. He ain't got, he got, he, ain't, he don't got no. So like my daddy used to say, sugar in the tank, baby. Sugar in the tank, okay? Because you don't tell no man to be more assertive. Big, that's because he's not assertive, right? So then they're bringing up, did they do the do and now about being ag aggressive? And they're asking Crystal, well, what base? You're on first base, second base, third base. And she's like, well, we in, you know, between two and three, we're about to hit a home run. And Shaq is like, I haven't been assertive. I haven't been assertive. Huh? I haven't been assertive. And everybody's like, be assertive. Be assertive. She wants you to be assertive. Here go feminine Shaq with his purse, girl. Kristen and I have consummated our marriage. That's what I said. I haven't been, oh, I haven't been assertive. Kristen and I 
has consummated our marriage. And everybody is up in uproar. Jasmine's like, hold up. We have something to talk about. And then Feminine Shaq is going to say, well, we decided that we wasn't going to share it yet. So why with your feminine self did you share it? See, I would have got up and walked out if this nigga did something like that to me. Because my thing is, if we talked in private, <clears throat> that we're not going to share this. And we just going to keep it between us. But you want to flex your little feminine mad muscles and you gonna expose me and uncover me and unshield me oh we're about to go on downtown and see the judge because you are not about to do that to me let me tell you ladies this is what feminine men will do they can't cover you okay they can't protect you they will uncover you they will throw you under the bus they will talk about you to their mama this is what feminine men will do Leave the feminine men alone, ladies. Ladies, if you are dating a man like Shaq, please run to the hills from whence cometh your help because your wonderful help come from your sweet cousin, Sister Janice. Because, girl, you don't need no man like Shaq. You don't need no man like that, honey. You don't need no man like Shaq. But, boo, I have to go, girl. Let me know what you think. Are you watching tonight? I'm not watching live. I'm tired of this foolishness. I absolutely love you. I adore you. Thank you for your love and support. But you know, if you put it in there, it's for everybody. It's not just for Michael. Right? Mm -hmm. It's for everybody. But I don't have a bag to put it in. Okay, I bought bags. I bought bags yesterday. All right, y'all. I love you. Let me know what you think. Be sure to check my shorts out. Remember, 23 tasks of guy on Amazon. I need reviews. Please, 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 please. I'm almost at 200 reviews. I need you to go over there and review. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.